Alright boys, we're gonna make this run smooth and easy. Hunters, I want those tranquilizing shots on point. You got that? Drink shot? Uh, what's that? Drink shot of this Oh, oh yeah, uh, I'll be right on it, boss. <sighs> Warlocks, I need those banishes on point and start getting that summon out for Jimmy. Where is that guy anyway? Uh, I got no clue where he is. <sighs> All right then, priests, make sure you stop by the vending machine before we start pulling. Greetings. Would you like food or wa? Wa. 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 Hey, what's up, guy? Wa. Water today. Asterisk. Sigh asterisk. Oh my god, I hate my job. Hi, ah, yes, the mage, the vending machines of WoW. These dress wearers are useful in almost any scenario and have dozens upon dozens of abilities in their toolkit. But why should you play a mage in classic WoW? Well, let's see what these wizards of Warcraft bring to the table. So mage leveling is pretty strict. Not enough mana. Oh wait, well, give, give me a sec, guys. I'm a mage, so, you know... Got a drink. Okay, so as I was saying, typically people level as frost because it's much more. F I need more mana. Hold on, uh, I got it. I got a low mana, so I got to drink again. So as I was saying, the strength of mages is that their DPS is. So My mana is low. No. Okay, sorry guys, got to drink again. So if you haven't realized yet, mages have to drink a lot between pulls. The bright side is that they are utter glass cannons and can dispose of mobs easily. But have a bit of downtime between pulls. Thankfully, you can make your own water so you won't be swimming in debt. Also, try to conserve your mana by only sticking the spells like Frostbolt or Frost Nova. If you're blinking around using Fire Blast and using spells all willy nilly, you're gonna be drinking a lot more. Mage leveling is pretty simple. You press Frostbolt, you use crowd control abilities when the mob gets close to you, and, and that's it. It's a pretty simple and efficient way to level. Another route you can take with mage leveling is AoE farming. Mages have the unique skill to round up as many mobs as they can, CC them, and then AoE the crap out of them to level up quickly. There is a sort of nuance when AoE farming, but it's a quick way to level up once you get the hang of it. The two negatives to AoE farming as a frost mage is that you can't have the frostbite talent because it will muck up the nature of AoE farming and get all the mobs unorganized. The other negative is that AoE farming on populated servers can be difficult because you have a lot of competition with other players or maybe even other mage AoE levelers. So if you're thinking about doing mass AoE leveling as a mage on classic release, I'd try and push yourself to be a higher level than the average player so you won't have as much competition. That means having lots of pee bottles and probably quitting your job too, but look, getting ahead of the pack is so important, so let's just not worry about all that real life stuff. Now before we do anything, we need to go over the complicated rotation of Frost Mage in PvE. Alright, so what you want to do here is you just press Frostbolt. It's Frostbolt and you just keep... Okay, well, maybe it isn't so complicated. You press one spell and all you gotta do is manage your mana effectively. One of the mages in your raid will want to take the Winter's Chill talent to increase the DPS of you and all your mage friends. All the other mages are going to want to pick up an Arcane Power slash Frost build, and this is going to do increased damage. So basically the Winter's Chill guy is just going to be the little bitch that increases the DPS for everybody else. And you're going to be Frost from Molten Core to BWL. I, I mean, you can't really go fire because you're literally fighting fire, so a fire spec would not do much. But you'll want to switch to fire when you're only clearing AQ and Nax. Now fire is going to be much more difficult because you might need to use two spells instead of one. Because one of the mages needs to keep up improved Scorch. Mages are always going to be a great DPS in raids and finding a slot in a raid should not be too difficult as long as you make the effort to be the best you can be. Mages are always needed in dungeons. The CC, damage, and food and water they supply is a powerful asset in any group. They are truly the kings of CC. They can polymorph an important mob or just slow down a whole group of mobs with Cone of Cold or restrict their movement entirely with Frost Nova and then just rain down AoE damage in a pack and this finds lots of use in areas and dungeons where it's loaded with mobs. Oh, oh my god! Frost Mage is your go-to spec for PvP mainly. 
you got a whole bunch of different spells to use and different combinations to CC your targets and make you virtually untouchable. Skilled mages can even juggle multiple targets and truly be a force to be reckoned with. What makes mages so strong in PvP is they can do shatter combos that do stupid amounts of damage to enemies, and then they can use Cold Snap to reset all their cooldowns and do those nasty combos all over again. Now you can also go as an elemental mage and diversify your spec into the frost and fire trees. Now this spec does require some good gear, and it has pretty low survivability, but it does do some pretty high damage, and it has a multitude of different interesting spell combinations. But my all-time favorite spec has to be Palm Pyro. So basically what you do with the spec is you use Presence of Mind and Arcane Power, and then you cast an instant cast Pyroblast and you can just utterly nuke somebody every 3 minutes. Enemy AC on the above! The only problem with the spec is you really can't do much after that. You're basically just a one trick pony, which isn't really viable, but sure as hell is a lot of fun. So tailoring and enchanting is always good for any caster, especially mages. While leveling, you can craft a little set called which will help you on your journey to 60, but isn't really required at all. You can also make the disgusting Bloodvine set, which is pretty strong at max level. Mages make for great tailors because they are efficient at grinding mobs, which equals more cloth to work with at the end of the day. I recommend enchanting just because it goes well with tailoring, but you can swap it out for any gathering profession if you'd like. Engineering's good. Get engineering for PvP. I, I mean, you can kite enemies even better if you do get it. Like, these people are getting engineering, right? Like, I seriously talk about it every single video. Like, they, they listen to me, right? So there are two unique opportunities to change your animal for Polymorph. The first one drops off Ga- Gaz- Gazranka? Ga Gazronk? Gronk? This boss in ZG, and you can turn people into turtles. You can also turn people into piggies from a mage-specific quest in Najara. The quest involves turning Naga into sheep, and, and then they turn into tiny sheep for you to kill, and somehow by doing this, you can polymorph people into pigs. I don't really know what's going on here, but it's a cool quest, I guess. These cosmetic changes to polymorph did have some sort of use, because there was a time in vanilla where players didn't have raid markers. Having polymorph assignments organized by different animals was a good way to keep things organized. So in PvP scenarios, there's a little trick you can do by placing Detect Magic on polymorph targets. Not only does Detect Magic let you see the buff an enemy player has, but it will also force, let's say, a, a priest to dispel Detect Magic before dispelling polymorph. So you're gonna make a lot of friends and money as a mage in Classic by just being a mage. People will love you for your food and water and your portals. On the Horde side, a lot of players set their hearthstone to Kargath because it's the closest place to Blackrock Mountain. It's common for mages to hang around outside and sell portals to Org or any other capital city. So basically, you just make a lot of money by being half AFK. Hey, stop! I, uh, why? I just don't get it. I always catch you fuckers watching this sick shit. This is sickening! Well, well, would you look at that? That's the mage. I'd recommend this class for anybody who doesn't mind getting their drink on, loves to make money by just existing, and looks for a class that has a high skill ceiling in PvP and doesn't mind a simple rotation in PvE. I want to thank all of the beautiful people from the ClassicWow.Live website for helping me with the voice acting in this video. You can find all of their channels in the description and see all of the amazing content they have to offer. I've also started a Patreon as per viewer request, and the link is in the description if you want to support the channel. Also, there's only two classes left, so let me know which one you want to see next in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, like, subscribe, yada 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 yada. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>